exhausted staff. It's not a time to take the foot off the pedal and stop. Growing waiting lists and COVID-19 cases rising again. And we've got a COVID positive alert as well. Health bosses say the NHS faces a long and difficult winter with a backlog of patients now needing care. <laughs> Irene Winter's operation for a hip replacement was cancelled in March. Six months on, she's still waiting and still in pain. When I cancelled it, my heart just sank. I was like, oh, no. Um, and now it's just, it's hard to imagine. It's just hard to imagine that, you know, it might be another six months, it might be another year, I don't know. Um, I do, I want to cry now, because, sorry. It's unbearable. Today's report found many routine operations still haven't resumed. Breast cancer surgeon Rebecca Lewis was redeployed in March due to COVID and is now dealing with the patient backlog. Now we're at the stage when things started to reopen where we're seeing all the patients who've been waiting for six months, who've been waiting at home without coming to the hospital for six months and who um, are now coming to be seen. So there's more of a pressure on the service now in terms of clinic capacity. NHS leaders say more funding is badly needed. We're desperate. You know, we're, we're doing everything we can think of to be more productive and more efficient in terms of how we organise ourselves. But we can see absolutely that we're going to need a, some extra investment and some extra help uh, from the government to deal with the consequences of the pandemic and the impact on our patients. The government says it's committed to supporting the NHS and has promised an extra £3 billion this winter. But health bosses say the effects of the pandemic won't just be felt this winter, but for many years to come. Leila Hayes, 5 News.